Okay, let me try this again. I tend to talk fast, so I'm going to talk a little slower this time so uh, it's easier to follow me. Okay, on this box, you can see now it actually doesn't look too bad. This is uh, when I'm, this thing's like 50 years old. This is, a, I guess they call this a suitcase. And it was pretty gray and it had little hairs, fiberglass hairs sticking up all over the place on this thing. And it wasn't in very good shape. This is still the original motor was on here. All I did was basically tape this stuff off, paint it. But how I got the box back again where it actually looks pretty decent. There are a few errors I might hit again. Uh, you can see it's kind of faded right here a little bit. I think I could sand this down and get it all looking like this down here is. Where it's nice and shiny, but it's smooth. Uh, what I did first, and this may not be necessary, is I used a propylene torch. And I went through and I burnt off all those little hairs. I don't think that's necessary. That's just what I did. I, I tried that first because it was I couldn't find any tutorials on how to restore the box itself back to what it looked like from the factory. So I burned all the little hairs off, wiped it all down. It looked decent, but it still looked gray. So and it definitely wasn't shiny. So what I did next was it's fiberglass. So I took uh, 100 grit sandpaper, and it does have to be 100 grit, but you don't want something too coarse. You can see it's pretty fine. I took 100 grit sandpaper and I, I sanded the whole thing down. And I plan on doing it probably one more time. Just going through it and sand it all down again with 100 grit sandpaper. Wiped it down. It looked better, but it still wasn't quite right. So I came back with uh, 320. This is off my DA sander. I used 320 grit, which is a really fine grit paper. And I didn't, do, I didn't wet this thing down. I just basically just sanded it. So... And once I got that all centered down, I got really nice and smooth. Uh, but to get the shine back, I used tire shine. You know, like you spray your tires. Uh, or you could probably use SCP Son of a Gun, Armor All. Um, I might try Armor All when I get this, if I sand it down again, see what that looks like. Because Armor All has a nice sheen to it. And it won't flake. I know guys, I've watched their uh, posts where they actually clear coated this box once they sanded it down. And the clear coat starts flaking off because I want to eventually all look like this and it looks good but this is I think what it looked like you know actually well it did from the factory it's got that nice shine to it so I might even get a finer sandpaper one more time but to get the shine back just use your tire shine SP Sun a gun armor all um, and it actually turned out really really nice the box looks good it's nice and soft again um, I actually just taped this is the original motor was on this and it, it, uh, fired, it I plugged in it fires up so the motor's still good um, plus these are easy to change I mean they're under the hood you can get right to them like I said the guys who clear coated these things talked about how the clear coat started flaking later on down the road again because it gets pretty hot this is a 454 big block it gets pretty hot under that hood and I could see the uh, clear coat flaking off and basically being a mess but if you use armor all or SCP son of a gun, uh, tire shine, that stuff does not flake, but it does leave a nice, looks like factory shine to this. Okay, I hope that helps somebody. Um, I'm going to do some more, clean this stuff up, you know, change it out because I'm going to put all new lines on this thing. But this is the box for my 71 Chevelle, and it actually looks pretty decent. Sorry about the shadows, but it's uh, dark in my garage, it's nighttime. All right, hope that helps somebody. Good luck.